The Voorhees Vikings finished last year 15 and 7, fourth in the Skylands Conference Valley Division. While the team is young, it is very experienced as it brings back numerous wrestlers from last year's campaign. For head coach Rick Kurtz entering his third year, he's also excited about the prospects of this year's squad as they put a lot of hard work and time in the offseason with numerous wrestling clinics and clubs. It's an experienced squad. Most of them are back from last year. Uh, we're still young. We only have three seniors, um, and uh, they're, they're working very hard to get ready for the season. Um, like I said, we're young, but they have a lot of experience. They put a lot of hard work in the off season, uh, going to different camps like Bucknell and going to a couple different tournaments and competing hard. We had a bunch of guys win a um, good amount of matches, 10, 12, 15 matches in the summer. One of the wrestlers who took advantage of the extra off season time is Logan Wirecheck. The junior who finished last year 27 and 10 knows that the newly formed Voorhees Viking Wrestling Club has helped them get ready for the upcoming year. Well, uh, so far this season, we've really been pushing them hard just to make sure their conditioning and stuff is like up to date, especially now that we have uh, a bunch of newcomers for the team that we didn't really have last year. So we really need to make sure that they're conditioned and ready to really wrestle hard. And uh, this year was the first year that we started the Voorhees Vikings Wrestling Club over the summer. So uh, rather than just being done after the season, we uh, started the club over the summer so that they could wrestle some tournaments and some matches to really get them ready for the season. This is a young but experienced Voorhees wrestling team. A lot of their experience is from 144 and up, but they're a little young in the lower weights. If they can get those guys acclimated and a part of the program early, I think they could even out the lineup and be successful this year. In a newly reconstructed Raritan division, I could see them being competitive, but there's some real dangerous squads in there. I look for them to finish above 500, qualify for the state tournament, and finish fourth in the Raritan division of the Skylands Conference. For GardenStateHSWrestling.com, Donald J. Brower reporting.